multiple reasons to uh, for blue screen of death you need to discuss with your client uh, did you make any changes with hardware did you install any driver or any application with your computer did you update your operating system recently please confirm and according to that i am going to resolve your issues is that correct so it's our responsibility we need to ask to our client second now talk about the solution right how how we can resolve the issues related to the blue screen of death we need to start from the very basic first of all the first step that you need to use nowadays if we talk about windows 10 or windows 11 operating system if the bsod come into the picture it will give you one qr code remember it will not give you any kind of error code it give you the proper qr code you need to open your mobile phone just scan the qr code it will redirect you on the page of microsoft help and support give you multiple articles those articles can help you to uh, resolve the issues related to the bsod i think is that correct as it is as it is if everything is okay you have already checked the qr code and you follow the entire step according to the microsoft help and support site but unfortunately again bsod come into the picture then what you need to do you must need to start your computer in safe mode not safe mode you can say that uh, only with the microsoft services or safe mode with networking right so what exactly happen once we log in our system by using the command of ms config we just need to disable all uh, microsoft services right we just need to uncheck the all microsoft services and turn on your computer uh, without any third party software or drivers is that correct so which is considered as a clean boot we can also consider it as a clean boot so what happened in case of clean boot if you are able to turn on your machine properly like as a normal mode uh, if your system is working fine means we are not getting any kind of blue screen of death if you turn on your machine in clean boot it means that some driver or application um, create a problem for the bsod things right so in this case you need to filter the entire application that you recently installed with your computer and date wise like recent application you need to uninstall the recent application uninstall and turn on your machine in normal mode and wait for the bsod all good guys one more point you need to add before examining before implementing these troubleshooting steps your responsibility to unplug the entire external and peripheral devices from your machine entire external peripherals from your computer remove uh, mouse uh, remove monitor remove network cable remove uh, any other device that connected with your machine like from usb you connected to your mobile phone or any any device so you just need to uh, remove all the peripherals from your computer and try to turn on with keyboard monitor and system unit that's it right because sometimes it will ask you f1 f2 f3 like that to turn on our machine in normal mode then then the main reason of bsod sometime due to dust in the ram slot it create issues related to bsod so what you need to do you need to coordinate with your local it guys like like the internal it people coordinate over a call and describe please open cabinet and clean the ram and ram slots right discuss with you need to start from the from from the hardware troubleshooting you always start from ask to your internal it team and uh, ask to internal it please uh, open cabinet remove ram and clean the ram and ram sockets as well sorry ram slots as well then plug it again and try to turn on in normal mode fine one more reason of uh, our bsod if any kind of antivirus that you install with your computer but unfortunately the validity of antivirus expired got it what i'm saying because you know that we have to pay the amount for antivirus and it is applicable we need to pay on yearly basis maybe one year three year or five years 
all good for example you establish one quick heal antivirus with your desktop and the validity of quick heal antivirus applicable for one year only and you have already crossed the limit cross the limit in the sense i'm talking about the validity but your quick heal setup is still available with your machine and your system is connected with internet right so maybe from the back end side of quick heal they create issues related to our base environment base computer so make sure you have to remove this application the antivirus application from control panel first you also need to remove and delete the all program files of antivirus from the windows folder got it sometime you need to remove the value or change the value of antivirus from registry file clear so i hope you guys are aware about the location of our uh, uh, the application once we install the application in our computer you are able to find the location of our application from registry is it so you we have already discussed in our wintel session like uh, uh, regarding the fs logic remember once we install it you need to open regedit regedit it and it will redirect you on the page of registry so sometime if the antivirus validity expire or over you must need to remove it from windows program file you need to uninstall from the control panel and also remove the information about your antivirus from registry as well clear last reason of yeah any go go ahead hmm hmm correct correct we can yeah we can also find it but just we just need to open the registry panel go to the software uh, folder software location and identify the number of applications that you installed right so same procedure we need to use and no worry about it in our wintel session we'll discuss again about how to manage our registry all good and the another reason of blue screen of death with our desktop or laptop you need to identify again bad sectors right the bad sector in the sense you need to check uh, with the help of chk dsk open run and uh, open cmd and execute the command of chk and dsk chk dsk and uh, it will give you it will give you uh, uh, the details related to the zone and sector consumed by which data if you are getting any number like as a 5 million or 2 million or any thousand uh, kb of data available in bad sector so it means that it will day by day increase and consume your usable space from hard drive so make sure you need to fix the bad sector immediately with the help of command right and number of software tools third party tools are also available that help us to repair our hard drive but you always try to use the command and use the uh, built in tool that help us to fix it all good so these all are the steps that required to resolve the issues related to the bsod we know about the ms config why we need to use the ms config command right so you need to open the ms config uh, uncheck the entire third party software turn on your machine uh, with the help of microsoft application good guys so this is <coughs> uh uh sometime yes but in case of uh, troubleshoot the bsod in our virtual machine it's really easy because what happen in case of virtual machine we always take the uh, snapshot of our vm if you are using hypervisor checkpoint come into the picture remember checkpoint work like as a snapshot if you are using citrix zen server and esxi of vmware then it will give you whenever we right click on our virtual machine it give us a option uh, related to the snapshot you just take the snapshot and uh, if any problem occurred with our os if any problem occurred with our users we just need to restore our computer from snapshot 
all good anthony do you want to say something about the bsod right 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 you you just need to open your laptop or desktop remove your uh, if you have a multiple ram are connected with uh, on 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 a motherboard so you just need to remove all the ram and clean the ram and ram slots as well and one by one do not attach entire do not add or connect entire ram at the same time you need to connect one ram try to turn on and wait for the bsod if you are getting the bsod then remove and connect with another ram right then we need to check ps psu power supply unit and verify the uh, the, the the voltage i'm talking about the uh, power good signal if it is less than 4.5 uh, uh, volt then definitely your system will not work properly it definitely perform abnormal but it's a core hardware related troubleshooting you need to use multimeter to check the voltage right sometime the power good signal is low can also impact to turn on our computer and it may be create issues related to the bsod all good any other question <laughs> 